it's been discovered that when a population is under stress, stuff starts to happen. Now, we're under stress as a society. Times are tough. When you're under stress, you're no longer going home from work and drinking a beer and watching TV and worrying about your future. You're worrying about stuff. That stress is when there are huge spurts of creativity and solutions to problems. That's inventor Woody Norris speaking at Government Technologies GTC Southwest in Austin, Texas. Norris made millions from ideas like a tiny AM-FM radio that fits in your ear and the technology behind cell phone headsets. He says nanotechnology could be the key to reducing our nation's dependence on foreign oil. There's a ratio in physics between internal volume and external surface area. It's a constant. Until you get down to a scale we call nanometers. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter. When you shrink things to that size, they behave totally different. You can get to the point to where there is calculated virtually zero internal volume and virtually 100% surface area. Which means, for instance, in the real world where we live, you want a more powerful battery? Make it bigger. A more powerful motor? Make it bigger. Magnet? Bigger. Bigger is stronger. Turns out when you go down small enough and you get virtually no internal volume and mostly surface area, you can pile these things on top of each other to make them visible with no internal volume, all surface area virtually, and make magnets that are thousands of times more powerful, photo cells that are thousands of times more powerful, battered, etc. That means nanotech could produce better batteries for plug-in vehicles or trigger big improvements in solar power. When you shrink carbon, just one of the elements on the atomic table, to a certain size, it begins to change colors. It changes its electrical characteristics. It can be a near-perfect insulator, it can be a semiconductor, or a perfect conductor, near-perfect conductor. When you begin to confine atoms the electrons are more and more confined. It's called quantum confinement. And they act like brand new materials. So we're starting all over again. How about carbon 50 times stronger than the strongest steel? How about photocells that because carbon can become absolutely true black, go from an average of 10 to 12% efficiency at converting the light into electricity and to nearly 80% efficient. Norris says enough solar energy hits the Earth in one minute to meet the planet's power needs for a year. We just haven't been smart enough to capture it. But thanks to advances in nanotechnology, we might be a few steps closer. For GTTV, I'm Steve Chan. Let's go in chronological order. Let's say when did it start?